American Lane is on the verge of Category 5 intensity. It's got winds of 155 miles per hour, the pressure down to 929 millibars. It's at 14.4 north, 153.4 west at 2 p.m. local time in Hawaii, August 21st. The storm is continuing to begin its approach towards the islands, a stage 6 on the CDPS scale at this time. And after what must have been a very uh, close call from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, they've kept it at Category 4 status. Uh, which many people may not agree with. 383 miles from Hilo, Hawaii, 558 miles from Honolulu, which is now the population center that has the largest chance of tropical storm force winds. More on that shortly. A hurricane watch remains in effect for Hawaii, Maui, Kahulari, Lanai, and Molokai. Uh, those hurricane watches could extend further west later on, and that's probably uh, near certain to happen at some point. This is what we expect on the forecast over the next few days, the storm to continue towards the northwest eventually. Uh, it's going to be slowly moving at first, and then by the time we reach the end of the week, it's going to give uh, the big island, we expect, a glancing blow, and then onto one of the other islands, or maybe several of the other islands, as a hurricane weakening rapidly by that point. And if there's any remnants surviving, they'll probably move out towards the west, or even west-southwest, uh, by the end of the weekend and not continue towards the north as we first had a hunch it may have done. It doesn't look like that's going to happen now, it's going to stay south. Sea surface temperatures are around 27 or 28 degrees Celsius for this Category 4 storm. Wind shear is uh, very close to the north uh, but at the moment it's looking okay for the next 24 hours or so and maybe it will reach category 5 later on this is what we expect over the next few days into thursday the storm bearing down on the big island of hawaii and on the other islands there eventually winding up near oahu by late friday into saturday and then what's left of it will move off towards the west this is just one particular model there is a lot of deviation between the models right now and that could really change how things turn out we will show you the progression of all the models shortly. Here's the chance of tropical storm force winds. Hilo, those chances are going down there now. 49%, 53 at Kahului, 55 at Molokai, and 57% chance at Honolulu. 42 in Kauai, those percentage chances rising in all those other locations as far as I'm aware. This is what the models are looking at right now. The GFS doesn't initially very well at all. The other models though calling for the storm to begin a gradual weakening process very soon. Wind shear is going to be on a massive rise by the time we enter Thursday. Um, and then there's the track on the left hand side and look at the deviation between those models. HWRF wanted to go much further north. Uh, the CTCX calling for it to stay away from the islands completely. So it's going to be a real hit and miss situation. This probably the biggest hit and miss that we've been looking at for many years. So here it is right now. Um, I'm not sure you can see the outline, it's just off the top of the screen, the outline of the Big Island of Hawaii. So it's just off the screen to the top of the image, and Lane at the minute is still yet to properly execute that northward turn, but it will happen sooner or later, we expect sometime in the next 24 to 36 hours it will begin to turn towards the northwest, maybe a gradual process. But at the moment, look at that eye clearing out, and it's right on the borderline of Category 5, but they've said no. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.